<clears throat> okay, uh, a couple of things I need to mention about the heart is the association of the heart with the other organs around it. We mentioned the lungs were found on each side of the heart and to prove that we saw the pulmonary veins and the pulmonary arteries. But you also have some other organs closely associated or close by, close neighbors, uh, such as this right here. This is part of the trachea, which most of you perhaps uh, know it from high school as the windpipe, the trachea. And you can see how the trachea uh, will bifurcate into these large tubes here called the bronchi, the primary, primary bronchi. One for the uh, right lung, one for the left lung. Okay. Behind the trachea, you have this other important structure here. This is the uh, esophagus. Esophagus. So, uh, when you do respiratory system and digestive system, you will talk more detail about these parts of uh, these different organs here. Now, going back around to the front of the heart, remember we had our apex of the heart, which is the tip or point of the heart, and the base of the heart, which is uh, all of this portion over here, the base, where you find uh, a lot of the dorsal surface of the heart. Okay. Now, let's open up our heart and look at the uh, look at the chambers and here in the right atrium we see uh, some small important structures that are going to form part of the intrinsic nodal system of the heart what is the intrinsic nodal system of the heart it's actually the built-in conduction system of the heart that helps the heart maintain its rhythm a rhythm that you're all familiar with, with being lub-dub, 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 okay? That rhythm is maintained by this intrinsic conduction system. And it's embedded there within the walls of the heart, of the heart. First of all, we start up here with the SA node, which stands for sinoatrial node, the SA node. From there, the impulses spread out throughout both atria and reach the next node over here called the AV node. Now, from the AV node, then the impulses travel and spread out to the ventricles. It's called AV node because it stands for atrioventricular node. And from there, the impulses spread to the ventricles and reach over here a bundle that you can see with the ventricle here. You can also see it with the left ventricle as well over here. And we call that the bundle of his, the bundle of his, H-I-S, his. Now, from there, the bundle of his then will split and send fibers towards the right ventricle and towards the left ventricle. And we call these the bundle branches the bundle branches. So the impulses travel now through the bundle branches. And then finally, when the impulses reach close to the tip of the heart, towards the apex, these bundle branches will then give off these other fine little fibers here called the Purkinje fibers. So the impulses then spread to the lateral walls of the ventricles. So, it's through this conduction system, as you can see, that the impulses travel from one part to the next, then from here to here, down this way, and along the lateral walls of the ventricles, meaning that every part of the heart muscle will receive these impulses to maintain that normal rhythm, that normal rhythm of your heart. Okay? Uh, and then, finally... Uh, underneath here, the heart, the heart would be resting on a large, important muscle called the diaphragm muscle. Okay, that cover everything. Yes, one last thing I want to show you is that you can notice also the difference between the thickness of the atria and the ventricles. The atrial wall is not as thick 
as the ventricular wall. The ventricular wall is very thick. Okay, the ventricular wall is very thick, especially on the left ventricle. And that's because the ventricles have to pump and beat and contract much harder to pump the blood up into these large arteries here. It has to encounter a resistance. And to do that, it has to pump much harder than the atria. So for that reason, the ventricular walls are much thicker than the atrial walls. Okay, and that would conclude our study of the cardiovascular system.